Good morning. It's another day. It rained last night. But we stayed snug as a bug in a rug in here. But I guess it's time to get up and go find some gold. Sites are primitive. Well, I'm up, and it's another beautiful day. Um, we're here at the camp. Thank you for watching. We've got another adventure today, but before we do that, I think we're gonna drive into the town of Littleton and grab a breakfast and a coffee. We could cook it here, but it rained last night. Things are a little wet and damp, and even though we got a fire going, we're gonna have to douse that. And that's what we're gonna do. So stick around. Manusik River that flows by here. And look at Tom's shirt today. Look at that one. <laughs> uh, always something special. that bedrock out there. Really beautiful here. Trees are changing color fast. Nice red one right there. That wheel may have worked at one point, huh? And the hammer noose it goes off down that way. This is just a pedestrian bridge to get people over the river. Well, we decided to come out to the Israel River. And we test panned this area before. 
and we found a spot that we wanted to sluice. So we've come back with the sluice and we're going to sluice it today and see what gold we can get. And it's a beautiful day here. Let me show you around. Look at the trees. They're all changing color. Beautiful river runs by here. The trees are bright. Seems like they get a little bit brighter each day this time of year. So we're going to set up the sluice here and we're going to start sluicing. Ribbit. Ribbit. We got our sluice set up out there in the flow. Tom is filling up buckets there. I'm gonna classify them right there. Looks like it's running pretty good. We got a couple buckets classified. And we're gonna run them. See what we got. See that bowling? Woo! Uh, this is our first sluice run. Yeah, it seems pretty good. This is our first clean out. It was a small run because I think the sluice was running a little too hot. I was able to run two buckets real quick which is about six pails or six pans. So we'll see what we get. Now yeah, look at all that black sand. Wow. We got some nice pizzas in there, look at that. On the first run, I guess it wasn't running too hot. All the way across there, nice line of gold. That's not bad for the Israel River. Look at that. Very nice. I love it. We're gonna keep on going. First run, um, we only did two buckets because I wanted to check and see how it was working. And it was working good. Caught a lot of fine stuff and there was more gold in it than I thought. Um, I showed you that. And now we've got this bucket here and we've got that bucket you see over there next to the sluice. And we're gonna fill up three more. We're digging right in here, right across there. 
and, and uh, I'm going to throw fill three more and do a little bit bigger run this time. Let me show you what the hole looks like that we've dug. Hey. We're digging, and it's a beautiful day. The fall colors are out, and uh, partly sunny. It's nice when the sun goes in, because it's kind of hot when the sun comes out. So I can't complain. I'm gonna sluice. Tom is sluicing. Let me get out there. There we go. Yeah, there's a nice piece of gold on here. Nice piece of gold in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I can get a shot of it. Oh, that is a nice piece. Yeah, up there. Look at that. Very good. Such a beautiful day out here on the river. I'd be having a great day if I wasn't even finding gold. That's the second bucket of our second run. And that's the third. I still got two more pails to classify, but it's all dug. Let me go show you the, the pit. This is where we, we dug from here all the way down to here kind of deep in here this whole pit here because that's where it was concentrated so we'll fill that in before we leave because we may do even one more run so i'm going to finish classifying tom's running the sluice and when we are ready to clean it out We'll be back to show you what's in it. You know, when you're out here on the river sluicing, time sure flies. I guess you get into that state of flow like a river. And you just flow right through the hours. Just finishing up the last bucket on the sluice. He's feeding it pretty fast. This is a fast feeder. He can just shovel it in one right after another. I don't know how much we're losing, but we caught quite a bit on the last, so we're happy with it. We're going to be doing a clean out. So don't go away, you'll see what we get. Second clean out. That would have been a good one for the Almost camera. Went over my boat. <laughs> That would have looked nice on camera if you're taking a little swim. We got a lot of black sand. That's a lot of good. black sand. That's for sure. All right, here's what we're looking. We've got some gold there all across. Let me see if I can put some water on it without it floating because it does float. A lot of little stuff. Right up in there. And I'll show you a close-up view of this when we uh, get back to the house or to the camp. But not bad. Well, the last run wasn't bad. Once we get back to the car, I'll show you the whole thing. We're packed up here now. Packed up back there? Yep. <laughs> and we're heading on out. We gotta cross the river up a ways. 
See you back at the car. All right, let's take a look at the gold. This is from the Israel River. We did two runs and there's lots of finds. Well, and a few nice pieces in there. That's not too bad. I'm surprised that nobody knows about the Israel River. And look at that. I never heard anybody ever getting gold. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? All right, that was the gold from the river. Only two runs. So that's not bad at all. We'll probably be back here. Uh, we're going to head back home and not home, but feels like home, the campsite. And we're going to make something for dinner, so don't go away. Jefferson Notch Road and, and explore because that's what we do. And we found some interesting things. There's a river here. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's like one of the branches of the Israel River. And it's a beautiful little road runs through here going up the hill. Mount Jefferson is like one of the third biggest mountain in here in the northeast. So if we see something interesting we'll show you. We've come up to Jefferson Notch Road and that's Mount Jefferson right there. We didn't realize that it was going to be nine miles long, but we are exploring and it's a interesting little road. Jefferson Notch, we're at 3,009 feet. We're out here driving on Jefferson Notch Road and we didn't realize it was going to be a nine mile excursion, but we came across this nice brook here. And there's a lot of water in that brook for this time of year too. A little waterfall right over there, some bedrock, some material over there behind that rock that's screaming to be panned out so we found an interesting spot here the material right there I don't know the name of this let me get a closer look here I don't know the name of this brook steep little brook coming down off of Mount Washington and Jefferson. Real pretty. We'll keep looking. Maybe we'll find a spot and we'll and I'll research this and it'll be someplace we come for another time. Back to exploring. Well, we're back at the campsite after an exploration and a detour. 
and I'm, we had to stop at a spring to get some water and I'm gonna walk out to the car here I want to get a tarp because I want to cover the firewood and stuff in case we get rain again because we got rain last night and then we're gonna make something to eat so stick around all right it's time to make something to eat that skillet is coated with coconut oil and we're gonna add onions and peppers onions and peppers and we're gonna cook them up well, they're about halfway, and then we'll be back. Peppers and onions are almost done. Now we're going to add some ground beef. And then we'll be back. Okay, the next ingredient is something to give it a little bit of sweetness and flavor. And that's a little hippie honey. Hippie honey. It's a dark honey and great flavor. We're gonna put a little bit just enough to give it a little sweetness. Good. And we're going to mix that in. And we'll be able to tell by the smell if we put enough. I think we put enough? Yeah, we put enough. Okay, Tom says that's enough. <laughs> now, we're going to let this cook for a little bit, but not too long because the sugars will want to burn, but we want it to caramelize. That's what gives it the nice flavor. So, we're going to let that go for a minute, and we'll be back. All right, the sugars have caramelized a little bit. All right, and now we used lean hamburger, so you see there's not no fat. And the reason for that is because we're going to make up for it. Because we're going to put in a can of gravy right in there. And we're going to mix that up and heat that up. All right, doesn't that look good? I think. All right, we're gonna heat that up so it's nice and hot, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. All right, we start that off with a little bit of rice. And you can see this looks, it's thickened a little bit. And then we're gonna put that. Pick it up. Better would be 
I'll put that right there. Voila. Now, if you had some nice brioche rolls, you could have a roll with this. but it's for something else so there we have it let's bring this over to the table and try it out all right you ready to give it a whirl yep let's try it out let me mix that up with the rice get a good mix in there let's try mm. it out you can really taste all those onions and peppers mm onions and peppers you can taste that yeah after a long day on the river that's pretty good that'll stick to your ribs we're gonna eat this and then we'll be back there's little birds around here that they come around every time you're cooking we'll be back well we're just sitting around the fire here talking about the day and we had a great day it was a long day we went into Littleton for breakfast at, to the Littleton diner for their corned beef hash which Tom says is the best huh best around best around he says <laughs> but uh, next time we may try Monroe's family restaurant because it's not far from here it's in Carroll and uh, they say they have a great homemade hash so we'll have to check that out next time we also walked around Littleton what do you think of the town of Littleton it's a nice place it's a nice place I like the little downtown it's getting built up over the years um, we went to the Israel River and we sluiced it after test panning it uh, last time and I was surprised. I got, you know, there's gold in it. There's, there's a good amount of gold. What did you think? Yeah, it's a nice river. It's it is a nice river. Spot. And it's the a beautiful... Gold was easy to find. Gold was easy to find. Uh, we found a lot of fine gold and some small flakes, but who knows what you may find. Different spot. And on the way home, we went up uh, exploring. We like to travel roads we haven't traveled before and uh, Jefferson Notch Road it said gated we didn't know where it was I've never been there um, and we took it expecting there to be a gate because it said gate ahead but it was open um, I didn't realize it was only gated in the winter and we were that was a great surprise it was a great treat it was like a nine mile road that goes over the notch near Mount Jefferson, and we went up over 3,000 feet. Beautiful view of Mount Jefferson, and lots of uh, interesting spots, huh? Yeah. Along that road. So, uh, I highly recommend it. There's some surprises on there, too. And it, it, the best part is that when we came out at the other end, we weren't far from where we needed to be, back at our camp. So, <laughs> surprise, surprise. So that'll about wrap it up for this week. We thank you for watching and coming along with us. If you like these videos and you'd like us to continue making more of them, hit that uh, subscribe button and hit a like, make a comment. All those things help us to grow this channel. And also consider supporting our sponsor, thehippie.com. They have some of the best tasting honey you will ever have and some great honey candies and other things from the beehive. So until next week, peace. peace. <laughs>